guys, Miss Beatross again. Today I'm going through an example of an endangered Australian animal poster. This one is about the Mary River Turtle. As you can see, we've got a nice big title up there in a different font and it stands out. Might be a bit hard to see, but it's actually in red on this poster. Now you can draw your own pictures, like these ones here. This is the habitat picture. So as you can see, this is showing the actual habitat where the turtles live, in the creeks, on the riverbanks, etc. Now what's not on this poster that you can put in if you want to, is a map of where in Australia you can find them. That information is actually here, it's telling us that you can find the Mary River Turtle in this where, Mary River in Queensland. A little map showing where that is would be really helpful as well if you can manage it. And then it just tells us exactly about the exact environment that the Mary River Turtle lives in. Here is our little interesting fact that was mentioned on the tar sheet. And the interesting fact here is that in the 1960s and 70s, Mary River Turtles were collected as pets and they were called penny turtles because of how tiny they were. We have over here the picture of the life cycle and as in the PowerPoint video that I did, what's really great about this example is the scientific language that's been used. We've got the word juvenile which means like a teenager. Hatchlings are what we call the baby turtles and then it tells us about the eggs. We also have a hand-drawn diagram, the picture of the turtle, as well as some that are downloaded from the net. This paragraph here is the appearance, what the mirror of the turtle looks like. So some of the thing, information in there is about how it has a large, dark brown, almost black shell. The last little bit of information that is interesting in that paragraph is that they are called a bum breeder because they breed through their bottoms. This is telling us what's, why, why they are endangered and what we could do to help. So you don't really need to go into for your assessment about what we could do to help, but we really do need you to tell us why they're endangered. And one of the reasons the Mary River Turtle is endangered was because in the 60s and 70s, they did kill it for the pets and the entire generation of them was wiped out. Okay guys, thanks for your time today. I hope that helps and I really look forward to seeing all the wonderful work that you've done when you